I'm Matt Jasper, Support Technician here at Sea Creators & Company. Today we're going to talk about operating your Ringmaster Cotton Candy Machine. To begin with, it is always important that we are plugged into the appropriate voltage. You can identify the appropriate voltage for your Ringmaster by looking on the serial plate that is located on the back of the machine. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have all of our supplies readily available. We want to make sure that we have our cones, we want to make sure that we have our sugar. Today I'm going to demonstrate using our half bubble accessory that can be purchased separately here from Sea Creators. Before we get started, I want to talk about a couple of safety concerns. First, the motor head spins extremely fast inside of this, and these leather floaters, you want to be cautious that you keep your hand at all, at all times away from the spinner head so that you don't get caught. You also want to make sure that you keep your cotton candy cone just along the edges when you're making cotton candy. It's also a good idea to wear safety glasses while making cotton candy. It's another safety feature because we are have extremely hot liquids that are being uh, sent out to create the floss. We don't want that to get into your eyes. Before I do that, I want to demonstrate and talk about the process of spinning a cone. Using one of our cotton candy cones that has the hook on it, you're going to allow, once the cotton candy starts being produced, you're going to allow a, a, a ring to collect around the top of the bowl. You're going to use the hook, you, we will go in and we will scoop it using the hook, and we will lift it and we will spin it. Once we get that initial amount of cotton candy on the cone, then we will continue to spin moving around in a circular fashion making your cone as big as we can. Let's see this in action. To make cotton candy, you are going to take your sugar and you are going to add your sugar into the spinner head. We want to be careful that we do not overfill the spinner head. We only want it to be full about 90% of the way. Once you have done that, you're going to give the spinner head a shake to get that sugar to disperse equally. When you're ready to go, you are going to turn on your motor switch you are going to turn on your heat switch and you are going to turn your potentiometer all the way up. We're going to do this until the sugar starts to melt and we start getting floss to be produced. When we are producing that floss and once we have our floss being produced, we are going to want to turn our potentiometer down to the level that we feel is best. Once that floss is being created, we will use the hook on our cone, we will lift it up, we will spin it out, and then we can continue to spin in here until we have the size of cone we want. When your spinner head is empty, you're going to want to turn down your heat and add more sugar. It's important that we turn the heat down before we add more sugar in.
Once you've added more sugar in, you can turn your heat back up until it starts producing the floss. And then we're going to want to turn it down to your desired temperature, your voltage. Again, we're going to scoop with the hook, twist to get it started on the cone, and then we can go continue around the bowl, building up our cone. When you are done producing your cotton candy, you are going to turn your potentiometer down, you're going to turn your heat switch off, and you're going to allow that motor to run to cool off. I hope you found this video informative. To view other videos on this machine and our whole line of concession equipment, please visit our YouTube channel at Creators Pop. Thank you and have a great day.